Today, me and my friend, we decided to go golfing. I'm not the best at golfing. I don't even do it on a weekly basis. I've been twice in the past month. But we get there, we end up finding $6 in my wallet that I didn't even know I had. When we got there, there was this guy that needed, you know, some golf balls and he only had $5 and the machine took six. We gave him some golf balls of ours, but we already bought them. Have you ever had trouble with composition in your photos, but don't know where to start? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to perfectly frame a photo and composite a photo for beginners. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Damon, the filmmaker slash photographer who's all about creating content for the entire world, even you. If you're new to this channel and want to follow me along the journey to hard work and success, then you might as well click that subscribe button and click the little bell beside it so you don't miss anything. When I first started getting into photography, I didn't really know anything about composition, but now that I'm a little over a year into it, I realize that it's what makes up 99% of a photo. If you just start out by taking a random photo without using composition, then it may look like it's accidental. The rule of thirds. It's a basic photography tip that every beginner should know. It's where you divide the screen into thirds vertically and horizontally and at each one of those little intersections is where your subject's supposed to go, like their eye or their head and uh, so on and so forth. Next would have to be leading lines. That rule is something that I don't always use but I do when I have the chance. It's something that really just draws your eyes closer to the subject and it also doesn't even really have to be straight either. Use negative space to your advantage. It's one of my more favorite photography compositions and it's really easy to do. All you have to do is basically find the right location and make sure it's a clean background and then just take the picture. Photography, uh, photography, photography compositions. It's one of my favorite It's one of my favorite photography compositions today that I use. You guys just don't understand how hot it is in here. I know I'm complaining and I don't have the air conditioner on. I have a big soft box over here. It's just kind of like, duh, but it's also 1046 at night. So it's like, come on, you know, it should at least be 70 degrees, but the humidity is just I don't know, off the charts. But anyways, with all those tips I've given you. Hopefully you can use that to your advantage and make some great photos. I definitely need to start doing YouTube videos more because I sort of forgot how to vlog. I sort of fell out of my uh, groove with uh, making YouTube videos. I've got some great ideas for videos. I've got some, you know, great plans going on. So hopefully we'll get that all straightened out and ready, but we just got to take it day by day. I'm going to start trying to upload twice a week. So you know. Anyways, I'm gonna end it right here, guys. I love you. Bye. Show me what we got.